Hi and welcome back. It's that wonderful time of year again. We're approaching autumn. So today I'm going to paint an autumn scene. Um, I've got a piece of 140 pound weight Arches cold press paper. It's the back of an old painting. And so I'm just going to experiment on the back of this painting. Um, it's the first time I've painted an autumn scene for a while. And I'm really looking forward to it. So I've wet the paper down to the horizon line and now I've mixed up um, a weak mixture of raw sienna. Now I want this to give me my usual sort of background glow, um, both in the sky and in a sort of impression of, of distant trees, which is going to be what I'll be building up in a minute. I'm going to put some cerulean blue across the top. That's a bit lumpy. I didn't mix it. Mix it better on the palette than, than I did there. Still there's enough water on the page for me to smooth it out and even it out and sweep it with a harky brush across the page in slightly sort of diagonal um, brush strokes in order to get a sort of autumnal windswept look. With this wet and wet painting you can see the sky beginning to diffuse nicely <coughs> excuse me and soften i'm going to turn it round um, just to keep the flow going sort of more towards the top of the picture as it dries right i'm now going to put um, burnt sienna and raw sienna on my harky brush quite rich mixtures and go into the damp paper and just build up a sort of um, distant tree line on the left with some slightly closer trees uh, on the right um, just getting in those nice basic background um, autumnal colours I'm not worried too much about the kind of marks that I make uh, because I just want these to look like uh, sort of random tree canopies uh, the colours will soften back a bit as well um, I want some slightly darker colour in there, so I'm going to mix up some uh, burnt umber and a bit of raw umber. Just put that darker brown just closer into the base of the trees a little bit. It's all still wet, so it's still blending in nicely, but because it's fairly rich paint, it's staying where I put it. Um, as well as diffusing slightly and softening but it's not running away and disappearing as, as it would if my paint was too weak. I'm just going to use what's on my brush to sweep across the foreground and just uh, start to build up the ground, the look of the ground a little bit. While it's still wet I'm going to go in with a <clears throat> a chopped up piece of plastic uh, store card or credit card and I'm going to etch in some trees and branches and you can see um, the white paper is showing through where I'm in some places where I'm scratching and scraping into the paint um, and it's giving me some nice quick very simple and effective tree trunks and branches now I'm going to use, I've used the rounded side for the larger trees, it gives me a larger mark and I've got a, um, a, quite a sharp corner that I'm using for these more distant trees and that gives me um, smaller marks which helps to set this group of trees back into the distance. Of course you don't have to scrape out if you don't want to but it can actually be very effective in, in a loose painting, it can look quite um, quite spontaneous and free so if we take a closer look you can you can see the marks and um, you can see how it's beginning to look like groups of trees as the we've got little dots of white and we've got darker etched marks I'm just going to put in a little bit more I think I'm extending some of the marks out pulling the paint over the edges of where I put the canopies Um, next I have got some thick 
almost tube consistency uh, burnt sienna and I'm just putting some of that lovely autumnal red at the base of the trees just to add that more of that autumn feel and strengthening up some of the foreground um, with some red marks just keeping it nice and loose to just suggest the land Now I've got some very rich Payne's Grey and using the corner of the Harky brush I'm just carefully putting in some nice deep shadows just in the undergrowth um, in both areas trying to keep slightly less rich paint for the distant trees so that they recede a little and just dotting in a few bits of dark across the foreground maybe sweep a bit across the front to make maybe look like the shadows of trees that are out of the picture. Right, nearly time to leave it to dry, but I'm just gonna squeeze out all the water out of this clean, damp brush, um, get a nice chisel edge, and I just want to tidy up that line below the trees just there, that's better. Now it's a matter of, of leaving it to dry. Okay, so I've left it for about half an hour and it's almost dry. Um, so I'm mixing up a mixture of um, burnt umber and Payne's Grey um, to a sort of a fairly, fairly rich but inky flowing consistency. I'm using a rigger and I'm now going to paint in some trees. I'm not going to paint over the lines that I've etched in with the card I'm adding more branches here so I'm trying to get this to look like quite a thick um, wooded area so we've got uh, some darker trees trunks and branches here amongst the lighter ones that I've etched out so some are catching the light some might be silver birches that sort of thing um, so it's just a matter of taking your time because this isn't wet in wet, we're just working on a dry page, so you can take your time um, just to carefully build up your wooded areas and your trees, remembering to try and taper off your strokes um, towards the ends of the branches where they grow thinner and where there are more twiggy bits and things like that. Trying to create the look of those high canopies on this side. I'm thickening up the base of some of the trunks if I think it needs it and sort of using the rigger to paint in, blocking the base a little bit more um, again if I think it needs it. Trying not to have these tree lines looking too regimented. I want branches crisscrossing, um, coming out at different angles. A tangle of branches really is what I'm looking for. We can see quite a lot of the branches here through the leaves as um, it's an autumn scene and some of the leaves have already fallen, already showing the skeletons of the trees, or at least that's the look that I'm going for here pulling out some of the lines carefully beyond the tree line, um, sorry, the canopy line. I'll list all my colours, materials, etc. in the description below. Well, if you like um, this style of um, tutorial um, take a look at the link for patreon and maybe um, come and join us on patreon where i post midweek and weekend tutorials there and youtube videos are posted early for my patrons and thank you so much to my patrons for your support I think that's almost enough for this side. I might add a little bit more later, but I think that's looking quite nice there. So now I want to move over to the other side and I'm gonna take a slightly smaller rigger for this. This is a number one rigger. I'm not sure of the make of it. Uh, it was a gift. Um, 
slightly less dark paint here and thinner lines again this should help to push this group of trees back a little bit further I'm just going to do exactly the same I'm just going to follow up through the marks that I have made for the leaves and the canopies and just pull up trunks and branches trying to take the pressure off my brush stroke and therefore have lighter thinner lines towards the ends of the branches. Just have a few branches coming out here on this edge against the against the blue sky. I think it looks quite effective. I think just a, a few more trees right here on the left, sort of um, taking the this little um, group of trees off the page. Maybe as a finishing touch, I'm um, just going to use some strong uh, burnt sienna on the Harky brush um, and just a little bit maybe of burnt umber. I'm just going to pull it up in the sort of shape of some tufty grasses, dried grasses and things. Not much, I'm not going to tr try not to overdo this. I just want a few touches, a few hints just to um, detail the foreground a little bit more. And I'm going to call that finished now. I quite like that. My first autumn painting of the year and um, I am very pleased with it. You could add some birds if you wanted to. You could put a fence in the front, maybe a cottage at the back. Uh, this sort of scene has the potential for lots of fun and enjoyment. You can practice this sort of scene and it's good for practicing your trees. You could, all, you could stipple some darker um, foliage marks over it as well if you wanted to. to Put some yellows in, reds, anything really. Well, thank you so much for watching and um, I'll see you again soon. Take care then. Bye.